so in the series of corrosion protection and prevention methods today i have brought a very easy method for you and that is a use of inhibitors in order to inhibit the corrosion now what are inhibitors inhibitors are basically the substance which when added in small quantities to the aqueous corrosive environment it effectively decreases the corrosion of metal so here in this method what are you going to do is you are going to add a substance and that substance uh, which is added should have a capability to reduce the corrosion now you will tell uh, you will ask that what are that substance so let me tell you that these substances could be of two types or three types the first one basic two types would be first one is anodic inhibitor anodic inhibitors like chromates phosphates uh, tungstates etc they have a high oxygen content in the formula if you see they'll have a high oxygen content now they are the inhibitors they basically stifle the corrosion reaction which occurs at anode so what they do they basically form a sparingly soluble compound with the newly produced metal ion so what are, whatever the metal ion is produced they will react with that metal ion and they'll form a sparingly soluble compound and that is absorbed on the metal surface so once the metal is there and then you have added a inhibitor to it it will form a compound and that compound what will uh, this compound do this compound uh, will uh, make a protective layer on the metal right on the top of the metal it will be absorbed on the metal surface and this will act as a protective film or barrier and that is how it is going to reduce the corrosion rate this type of corrosion is very effective yet it could be dangerous also because then if there is a break or a crack in this particular uh, uh, layer if you can see this is the layer and then you have a break or maybe kind of crack in it then it will result in the intense corrosion because the area which is left unprotected that area will get corroded and the localized corrosion will occur so however it do form thin passivating oxide film on the metallic surface but it may become dangerous if that particular film develops a crack so one of the method is anodic inhibitor second method is cathodic inhibitor so what are you going to do here is you are going to inhibit the reaction which is present at cathode which is occurring at cathode rather so what are you going to do in cathodic inhibitors you have to inhibit the reaction happening at cathode now do you remember that there are two basic reactions happening at cathode if it is an acidic solution then then evolution of hydrogen in the wet corrosion video i explained this very well and if it is a neutral solution then then addition of oxygen so evolution of hydrogen and uh, addition of oxygen basically uh, these are the two methods by which the cathode reaction happens so what do you have to do you have to inhibit this cathodic reaction so if it's a acidic solution then cathodic reaction would be evolution of hydrogen that means this hydrogen gas will be evolved correct now what you have to do you have to slow down the diffusion of that h plus ion to the cathode how can you do that by either increasing the over voltage of hydrogen evolution or you can uh, do that by adding the inhibitor that organic inhibitor like amines mercaptans or heterocyclic nitrogen compounds or maybe substituted urea thio ureas they are capable of being adsorbed at the metal surface right antimony and arsenic oxide they are used as inhibitor why because they deposit adherent film of metallic arsenic or maybe antimony at the cathodic area thereby increasing the hydrogen over voltage so you have two options either you slow down the diffusion of h plus by adding these things so that these uh, react with the h plus and h plus doesn't get through uh, the reaction secondly you increase the over voltage now coming to the second uh, reaction which happens in the neutral solution the cathodic reaction involves oxygen so what you can do is either eliminate the oxygen uh, from corroding medium 
or uh, retard its diffusion to the cathodic area so you have two options only either you eliminate the oxygen as such how are you going to do that by deaeration or deactivation this has been covered in uh, previous video of modifying the environment under protection uh, series only so you may refer there also what they do uh, sodium sulfide react with oxygen it forms sodium sulfate or deaeration you increase the temperature so that the solubility of gas decreases and the oxygen comes out of the liquid so first thing is either you eliminate the oxygen from the entire corroding environment and second is uh, you have to slow down the diffusion of oxygen and how are you going to do that by uh, using uh, those salts like magnesium zinc or nickel salt to the environment they react with that hydroxyl ion and they form corresponding insoluble hydroxides and they are deposited on the cathode which forms more or less impermeable self barrier uh, coatings basically so what happens in anodic and in Uh, cathodic inhibitors you are able to understand here you have to inhibit the anodic reaction here you have to inhibit the cathodic reaction so in this particular video what i have taught you is uh, corrosion control and protection method where you have to use the inhibitors and what are inhibitors they are the compounds which you have to add in a small amount and they have to decrease the corrosion rate or inhibit the corrosion rate uh, to the metallic environment or the corrosive environment they basically basically make the system passive and for that you have two three types of coatings available either the coating is cathodic or anodic coating cathodic coating basically forms thick film on the metallic surface and here your target is to uh, reduce the cathodic reaction so either you have to you know slow down the diffusion of h plus or you remove hydrogen from the area and in anodic uh, inhibitors uh, you have to make sure that uh, the compound like chromate phosphate etc they do react with your metal ion they form a stable soluble compound and that uh, makes a passive film on the a metallic surface so with that i have come to the end of the video i hope you have understood this type of method very well please do mention in the comments and uh, please do subscribe if you would like to see such videos in future thank you so much